Igreja vem dizendo ao Senhor. The church praising the Lord. Porque em breve ele voltará. He will come back soon. Maranatha. Maranatha. Ora vem, Senhor Jesus. Lord come, Jesus. Essa não é somente uma palavra, mas é um not just a word, but it's time of life, a way of life. We are anxious for his return. The spirit and the bride say, Come, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. It is with joy that we greet the whole church with the glorious peace of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the same position, reverence, I invite the brethren to open together the first book of Samuel, chapter 30. At the moment in which we were praying before the service, the Lord has shown the rain of blessings coming upon those that were praying. And this rain was also able to reach afterward the entire church, bringing refreshing, bringing purification, bringing life. And it was seen in the vision in a way of uh, spring rain, the rain that comes when everything seems to be lost. When men and human resources say no, say that everything is over, then the blessing of the Lord comes, and it comes upon us and brings life. Glory to Jesus. First Samuel chapter 30, verse 11, says the following. They they found an Egyptian in the field and brought him to David, and they gave him bread, and he ate, and they let him drink water. And they gave him a piece of a cake of figs and two clusters of raisins. So when he had eaten, his strength came back to him, for he had eaten no bread nor drunk water for three days and three nights. Then David said to him, To whom do you belong, and where are you from? And he said, I am a young man from Egypt, servant of a Amalekite, and my master left me behind because Three days ago, I fell sick. Now, the, the church, I invite the church to be in spirit of prayer and let us hear a song. And whatever is your need, you who entered here, remember, know that the Lord was already waiting for you here.
The text that we just read speaks of a moment of battle, a hard moment in which David and his army were alert, battling, but not even for this was there not compassion from the Lord. And at one moment, they found a man who was lost. He was an Egyptian. And he was lost. He was abandoned. And the word said that for three days, he hadn't ate or drank. He was very close to dying. And then David and his army found him. And they immediately asked where who they were, where he was from. And they went and they helped him. They gave him bread, they gave him water. They took care of him. They saw what they what he needed. There was raisins that they gave him and everything that they had from the, for the war, for the army, they gave it to him. Those raisins helped him very much. And after, and after he was of sound mind and, and, and saved and he was fine, then they went and asked, so who are you? And then he said, I was abandoned after, after I got sick. And so the Holy Spirit wants to speak to us about the state of this man. And many of us are going to identify ourselves with this man. We know that we were abandoned but we were found by the king. David was the type of the Lord when he didn't sin and when he walked in the, in the Lord's footsteps. And the Lord is the same way. He didn't ask us who we were, who our descendants were. He just extended his hand and helped us. Our situation was hard and we thought that it was worse we ourselves we thought it was worse than what it actually was but he extended his hand to us just like the song that we sing our our soul was away from the lord but he extended his hand and we are here now serving him praising his holy name the world does this with a man. The world uses, abuses us. And when there's nothing left, he just throws it away. And that is what, that is what the, what the world does. They want to steal your faith. They want to destroy the possibility of you getting into heaven. But Jesus came to give us life and life in abundance. And this life includes victories as we await for his return. Brethren, for, for David to do this, he spoke to us. Because in that vision in which, in which the rain of blessings fell on the church, the Holy Spirit wanted us to trans transmit this. It is what the Holy Spirit wants to say to the church today. And David had something that was was in part with the Holy Spirit of, of God. When, when King Saul was governing and he was disobeying and he was going against the Lord, Samuel spoke to the prophet and, and said, why why do you feel bad for Saul? Because I have rejected him. 
The Lord will say, do A, he would do B. The Lord will say, go north, and he will go south. And the Lord has no pact with who is disobedient. The Lord is faithful, and if we are under his hands, then he, was, he will put us in the, in the best ways, marvelous ways. When we are under his grace, he follows us wherever we go. So Samuel went to Jesse's house because from that family, the Lord will, would show him who would become king. And so all the sons came. Many of us, most of us here just know the story. We're just going to summarize it real quick. Samuel, as a, a Pharisee, he would ask, is it him? And the Lord would say, no. If it wasn't the oldest, then it must be the second. And the Lord said, no. Sam and he said, Samuel, I see the heart. You see with your eyes and you see the exterior, but I see the heart. And it was, it was, it was none of those sons. And, and then Samuel asks, are these all your sons? And he said, there's one, a small one, he's skinny, he's weak, he's very young. Everything, he, everything about him was small. And he's over there taking care of my sheep. So there was nothing that he could have done, so he was there taking care of their sheep. And that is exactly what the Lord wanted to see in David, how he cared for the sheep. And so the word of the Lord to Samuel was, nothing nothing will happen until, until this one comes. There will not be a feast. There will, there will be no happiness until that brother comes. So the boy came. They, uh, they, asked, they asked to go get the boy. The one that was so young that he could not even go to war yet. So the boy gets there, David, and he gets the blessing. The blessing that was put upon him, the oil that was put upon him was an oil that was separated. It, there was a whole ritual to do. It was not just any oil. It was the oil, the oil of the grace of someone that would be a blessing in the hands of the Lord. So he receives that blessing, and the months pass, comes the incident, the incident with Goliath, he fights Goliath, he, he beats Goliath, and then he goes to the palace to play for Saul, and when Saul would be, would be sad, when one Saul couldn't sleep or when he was feeling bad, people people would remind Saul, do you know that boy, the one that plays the harp? And they would call David and David would play and his oppression would leave. There was a grace upon David's life and this grace, it makes a big difference. So what we just finished reading, he saved this Egyptian man a man who was abandoned by his by his by his ruler in disgrace it, it generates love it generates grace and who are these characteristics of these characteristics of our Lord and Savior the same characteristics in Jesus Christ were seen in David and this is the same same grace that is here upon us. Do you believe this? Because I believe it. I believe it, and and I and I'm willing to take it. Before the service ends, I want to say, Lord, give me a blessing. Make my heart happy. Whatever the situation that whatever the situation is that you came in here with. The Lord showed that there's a man here that he is, for the last two weeks, he has been oppressed. He doesn't want to see anybody. He is suffering. He doesn't want to tell anyone that he is sad. But the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit told us this. And he didn't say it to expose this man 
to humiliate this man, none of this. He said it so he can bless you. He said it so he can cure you. The, the bread, the water, the grace of the Lord is over you tonight to get you out of this hole, to get you out of this hole that you are in it and your soul is anguished and you had no force you have no force to get out of but a hand is reaching out to you to give you the same thing that david gave to the egyptian water and bread and the lord showed that there is two women that came into the service tonight that they will directly be reached and blessed with this word when we consulted the When we consulted the spiritual gift, the Lord showed this verse. And it happened on this day that everything will be off your shoulders because of the grace. The blessing that we are all here to receive, that we will receive at the end of this service, depending on our faith, is because of the grace. It is because of the Lord. It is because of the Holy Spirit in our midst. And the Lord says that His blessing does not does not does not give us anguish, but blesses us. So let's repeat the let's repeat the the chorus of this song. And you're gonna say, Lord, I was I was oppressed, but now I'm but now I'm happy because you will pour your blessings on top of me. So grab your blessing. Why does the word of the Lord say that that man was in that situation for three days and three nights? Three days and three nights talks about the death and the resurrection of the Lord. So, you and I, until we understand that the Lord died and then resurrected to give us life, life in abundance, until we understand this, we will be lost. We will be hungry, we will be hurt, with no hope, depressed, anguished. Does the brother want me to continue the list? It's not necessary, right? So until man understands that the Lord resurrected, there is no hope. But then comes Jesus, Jesus and his army, David and his army and helps they come as a solution the way the truth and the life that is the three days that is when we that is when we catch the secret that we are saved once we understand this we know that we are saved we know that it's not just the boy Jesus that at 12 years old would already discuss the scriptures with doctors it is not the Jesus that went to the cross and just stayed there and that after the cross he was he was put in he was put inside a cave and he's still there no it is the one that mary went to visit after three days to go put flowers and things of people of this life were so worried with death and and with things of this life mary she was completely focused on this life she thought he died and it's over and then there she had an encounter with Jesus. She was she was oppressed, she was crying, she was sad. And then she saw Jesus and then she found out the secret. The secret of the three days. She saw Jesus that died but resurrected. And she heard there Jesus himself calling calling her name, Mary. And he told her to tell everyone that he was alive and he will soon come back to to take us with him. 
Brethren, the word is full of experiences and moments in which people were depressed and sad. Elijah, even Elijah, he was he was in a cave and he was depressed. And even Jesus said, "What are you doing here? This is not this is not the place I brought you I brought you to. Our our path is long, but it will finish in eternity. We will live with the Lord and His glory because of His grace. Everything was taken off our shoulders because of the grace of Jesus over us." because we are his body and he is the head because of this grace all sadness and everything bad is going away so so take this for a life so let's everybody stand and praise the lord because this is a this is a day of blessings To finish the grace of the Holy Spirit of the Lord, the grace that Jesus received, the grace that is over us, it also brings patience. Maybe you came in here today and you are waiting for something, you are waiting for a blessing, and you haven't been seeing signs that your blessing is coming. Danger individual with plant. And then he would await for the rain, and the and the time would pass, and he would look at his field where he planted, and there's nothing coming, and he thought everything is over. And then the rain would come. That would come after everything was already passed. There was no more hope. Uh, everything seemed lost and then the rain would come that would wet the land that would bring the blessing the humidity 
so that the seed so that a plant would grow the Lord knows what is best for you the best time for you the Lord does not put things in our hands at the wrong time because he knows this so the grace that he's putting up upon us the church tonight it, we need, it gives us also pa patience so we know that we need to wait on the Lord we have so many necessities we came in here asking for so many things my list would have I'd need a truck to bring a, a list full of everything I want but they will come in the Lord's time David awaited for a long time after he knew that he would become king he had to wait a long time but he was patient and he was faithful he feared the Lord and then at the right time he became king and then until this day David David is known in Israel because he was faithful to the Lord and he won many battles and we were called to win many battles we are here by faith praise be the name of the Lord even for the blessings that we have not gotten yet do you have faith for this you have faith to say glory to Jesus and hallelujah for something that you haven't even received yet that is the grace that that we that we have upon us let's have a prayer Lord we bless your name because we want to Lord, we thank, we thank you for your blessings. We ask that we may, may always have patience. And we thank you for this victory that we know that we will be getting. And glory to Jesus. We thank you for eternity that we know that is coming. We praise your name. And we pray in Jesus' name, amen. Lord, our, our heart is filled with joy for, for when the, you found us, for, for fulfilling our lives. We praise you because you saved us. We praise you because you gave us the energy to continue, all the forces to keep walking in your direction. Lord, this is this is our service, and it's so simple, but it comes from deep in our hearts to show you how thankful we are for everything you have done for us. Receive this service and take us in Jesus' name. Amen. The church may be seated. You that visited us, we give you, we welcome you, we tell you to come back always. We are here now at your disposal so we can pray for you to wish you peace to the Lord. If you wish to, to share your experience, there's three gifts, three gifts, two gifts, one about two women and one about a man. If you want to tell us, we can pray for you and, and you will have and you will be blessed. The Spirit of the Lord is speaking in our midst. So if you want to tell us this experience, we will be very happy. And we will be very thankful. Tomorrow at 10.30, we will be here again for the Sunday Sunday school. And then at night at 7.30 p.m., we will return again. The deacons and the workers are here to help you, to pray for you or whatever your necessity is. Don't leave here without knowing that your blessing is sealed with the Holy Spirit, that your victory is sealed with the fire of the Holy Spirit. The group will be singing very lowly, so you can have a nice ambiance.